Hello and welcome to our next lesson. We shall be looking at the objectives or the purpose of database normalization. Database normalization is normally undertaken so as to achieve certain key objectives that we shall be discussing in a short while. The first objective is that the database or a normalized database should ensure that the data is organized or it's arranged into logical groups or what we can refer to as small relations and that each of those particular relations will describe a small part of a whole. For example, you can see that in this given uh, database we have four small relations and each of the particular relation is only describing or is only populating data that relates specifically to it. For example, we have the first group that is only capturing details to do with units. We have the second one here that is only capturing details to do with courses and so on and so forth. As opposed to when you have the data as a whole in this given case. Objective number two is that a normalized database should minimize the amount of duplicated data or repeated data. If you look at that, you are going to see that the highlighted sections shows repeated data for John Doe in terms of the year, the course, as well as the semester. The third objective is that the database should be designed in such a way that we can easily access and manipulate our data quickly and efficiently as shown. When you have data organized in this particular manner and I need to access courses I can straight go to the courses table and I access it. If I needed to access the student's details, I can quickly go to the student's relation and access the details from there. The other objective is that we need to organize our data in such a way that when we are modifying or making changes to that particular data, we only do it from one place and we only do it once. For instance, if you look at that particular relation, if we needed to change the name of the course, we'd be forced to make it three times. As the course name, computer science is appearing more than once. Similarly, if we needed to amend the name of the student John Doe, we might be forced to do it three times. That shows that that database isn't normalized. If it was normalized, we should only be in a position to make changes only from one place and only once. When you have organized it this way, you are going to see that now John Doe appears only once. And if we needed to make changes, we shall only make the changes from one particular place. Similarly, if we needed to change the course name, we will only change it from one particular place. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.